Hi, welcome back to MBA Solutions. I am Sravan, Assistant Professor, VVC, MBA Department, Mysuru. If you have not subscribed our channel, please press subscribe button and bell icon for notification. In our previous videos, we try to calculate the profit using the arbitrage in the forward market. Today also, in this video, we try to understand with one more problem of calculating the profit using arbitrage in forward market. Without wasting time, let's go directly into the problem. In the problem, they have given the data like this. Assume the buying rate for Douchmark spot in New York is 0.40 dollar. First question that they have asked you is, what would you expect the price of the US dollar to be in Germany? Second question, if the dollar were quoted in Germany at Douchmark 2.60, how is the market supposed to react? Let's go for the question number A. In the spot market at New York, for every 0 0.40 dollar, you need to pay one Douchmark. That is the data that they have given. That is, they have given in an indirect quote. Indirect quote. Now, what is the question that they have told? They have told you to calculate for one dollar how much you need to pay. So, for that, you cross multiply it 1 into 1 divided by 0 0.40. That will give you 2.5. That means for every 2.5 Douche mark, you are going to get $1. This is the answer for the question number A. Now for the question number B. If the dollar were quoted in Germany, 2.60 Douche mark. What you are going to do? 2.6 Douche mark per dollar. What you are going to do? You are going to buy at 2.5 and you are going to sell at 2.6. That is, for every dollar, you are going to get a profit of 0.1 Douche mark. If you sell, this is the answer for the question number B. As an extension of this problem, they have given one more problem. What that it says? On the same date, the Douchmar spot was quoted $0.40 dollar in New York. The price of the pound sterling was quoted at $1.80 dollar. Question number A. What would you expect the price of the pound to be in Germany? Question number B. If the pound were quoted in Frankfurt, at Douchmark 4.40 per pound, what would you do to get the profit from the situation? These are the two questions that we need to answer. Now for the question number A, what we need to find out is, what is the price of the pound? That means for one pound, how much Douchmark that you are paying? That is the answer that we need to find out. Please do remember, this is in New York that we need to find out. So, the first step is step number 1. In our previous problem, we have found out that $1 is equal to 2.5 Douchma. Correct? The same quote can be rewritten as Douche mark divided by dollar is equal to 2.5. That means whichever the denominator which is there, the quote is for that. And whichever the currency which is there in the numerator is the currency which you are paying. That means for one dollar, you are paying how much douche mark? 2.5. Don't get confused. It is one and the same only. This is equation number one. Douche mark divided by one dollar is equal to 2.5. Now, in the step number two, in the problem, they have given us for 1.8 dollar 
you are going to get one pound. That is, for one point eight zero dollar, you are going to get one pound. Here in the equation number one, you have found out for the one dollar. So we'll convert this for the one dollar. That means, for one point eight zero dollar, you are going to get one pound. Now for one dollar. How much you are going to get for that? You cross multiply. That is one into one divided by one point eight zero. That is zero point five five six. That means that means for one dollar it is zero point five five six pound. Correct? Again. This statement or the quote can be rewritten as dollar divided by pound is equal to 0.556. This is the equation number two. That means quote is for the pound. That means for one pound, which is the currency that you are paying dollar. How much that you are paying? You are paying. 0.556. This is the equation number two. Now we need to find out dash mark divided by pound. That means to get one pound, how much dash mark that I need to pay? For that the formula is dash mark divided by dollar whole divided by dollar divided by pound. This is the equation number one, and this is the equation number two. Sir, whatever the formula that you have written, whether it is right or wrong, will cross check it. How I got this? Now, for dash mark divided by pound, correct? No, this when you cross multiply equation number one and equation number two, that is dash mark. Divided by dollar, multiplied by dollar divided by pound. This is the equation number one, and this is the equation number two. That means now dollar dollar get cancelled. Left out is dash mark divided by pound. That means here left hand side is also same. Right hand side is also same. That means whatever the formula that I have written, it is correct. That is equation number one divided by equation number two. Now, for the dash mark divided by pound, that is equation number one is two point five. Equation number two is zero point five five six. When you substitute, roughly you are going to get four point five. That means what, sir? Dash mark. Divided by pound is equal to 4.5 means for every pound you need to pay 4.5 dash mark. That the same can be written as one pound is equal to 4.5 dash mark. This is the answer for the question number A. Now whatever the quote that you have calculated. That is one pound is equal to four point five dash mark. This quote is in New York. Please do remember that. Now the question B is saying that for one pound, if it is four point four dash mark in Germany, what you are going to do? This is the question that we need to answer. The simple thing is buy in Germany one pound and sell in New York. You are going to get a profit of 0.1 dash mark for every one pound. This is the answer for the question number B. Thank you for watching this video. We'll meet you once again. Until then, thank you.